Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is uh, myself and my cousin again. Uh, we did a video talking about post-labor, how things would be, universal basic income versus universal basic services, what it would be. We kind of came to a conclusion. Uh, so check out the uh, the last video. And I asked everyone their comments, what do they think, what's going on, what topics should we cover. And I will say our next video is going to be covering this one. Does money still exist when we get to that point? So we're going to cover politics and money because I think they do – they do coincide with each other. Uh, so that one could get a little spicy. So make sure you subscribe for that one. But the one we're talking about today is school. He says, really excited you're starting this series. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the future of education from pre-K through university and beyond. Uh, now we're going to kind of wing it, just kind of have conversation here because I don't know how much research you can do from this because it is going to be just so much, uh, you know, uh, throwing darts. You know, it, it, it could be a world of things. But before yeah. I get into our little our little interview speech, you have anything you want to add? I want to show one picture. Do you have anything you want to add uh, on comments or anything like that? You know, I would say that uh, we have opinions. We don't know what's going to happen, but we are. We, you know, we're trying to use educated guesses to kind of figure out what we think is going to happen. So nothing we ever say is going to be set in stone. It's just good ideas to think about and kind of where we think they're going. That's all I would say. And this. I've tried to rack my brain. Now, what this is is an image from Star Trek, uh, the movies that, that came out, the, the when they started remaking them with real CGI, uh, the good ones. Sorry to anybody that – my dad used to watch it. Man, I, I looking back, I don't know. Anyway, the new ones are good. So these are kids. If you look at this image, this little white spot is, is like stairs down to this little half dome, and each kid is going to school. I don't know if they're working at their own pace uh, or, or anything like that, but that's kind of where I, I, th I think that's probably more realistic than we think because with computers being so smart, uh, what do you need to know? You know, it was the, the, the argument when I was in school was you need to learn math because you're not going to carry a calculator around with you everywhere you go. And what do you know? I got a calculator right here and it does, a, does a lot of everything else too. Uh, so I think the, my personal thoughts um don't let me forget we got to talk about college as well i think what we're gonna need is basically a, a teacher or a humanoid robot that teaches the human body how to interact with the computer and at that point that that's basically that that's kind of it here's everything you're gonna need to know here's basic english hopefully you learned that from your parents uh but after that the kind of the Maybe there's a structured program. Do, do you think they even get rid of? I guess here's my first question. Do you think they get rid of K through nine or K through nine, K through twelve? I don't. I don't think so. I th I think here's my thought. I think humans are inherently inquisitive, and we want mm -hmm. to learn. Whether we need to learn or not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, like you said, I'm not sure that's even a thing anymore. But I think we still want to learn things. Yeah. So. so and I hadn't seen that picture you showed about Star Trek, but that was kind of the concept that I had thought in my head. I had come up with little spheres where people, would, little kids would go in, <laughs> their, little, their little spheres, mm -hmm. and they get taught subjects on everything at this point from some AI agent and no longer really having teachers in the classroom. Like, you know, you, you go to school, um, you, you go to your pod, and you start learning stuff. I mean, that, uh, you know, no tests, no nothing like that, but you just learn all day. Yeah. I feel like if you could do that and learn at your own pace, I would be at college material by eighth grade, I think. Because just <laughs> think, think of how slow school actually is. Because you got to like make sure the slowest, weakest link in class is at your pace. Like school for me wasn't entirely slow. Uh, I, I never even did, I've never done a day of homework in school. Yeah. I was like, they try to sneak in at the last bit too. Like, all right, here's your homework. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just going to burn through it while everything's fresh in my mind if i could work at my own pace uh, i think I'd, I'd almost be competitive with it i'm just going to start learning and i'm either a super genius by the time i'm an adult or i get so burnt out i just start drugs or something I, like i don't know what i would do <laughs> eighth grade i've got a master's and no adult would no nothing to do like i'm just gonna have to you know do something weird i guess pass i, I think you're, yeah i think you're right i think right now the way the way and this is I don't have kids, so I'm just going off of hearsay. I think they teach to the lowest common denominator these days, right? So whoever is the slowest learner, that's how that's the pace that the class goes. 
I think this changes everything when you have individualized AI agents who can teach to children in the way that they're most comfortable learning. So some people are visual, some some like to read. So, you know, you know, everyone has their own way of learning. Some people are hands on. Yeah. If you have an AI agent that can identify how a student learns and teach them at their pace, and everyone can go at their own pace. I think I think I always wonder if the concept of K through nine goes or K through twelve actually goes away, and you just have some sort of method of knowing. Okay, yeah, they've they've reached some certain point, and then they're off on their own. Yeah, like a level system. Yeah, it would be well, I mean, so yeah without, without actually like no without the, like grades right like okay yeah and then, and then you could have an, I mean just think about it you could have an AI agent who is basically Einstein teaching people physics or mm. you know Isaac Newton or you know. Socrates teaching people philosophy. Like it would be kind of yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah, you would learn from the best, not just a, a curriculum book that they that the state thinks you you need to learn from now. Exactly. But and I think you I think you get to I think you'd get to increase the range of subjects too, which I think would be awesome. Yes. Yeah, that there would be a lot of good things with that. Uh but also like I was saying last time, remember I was saying like retail workers might be safe because that that human interaction. I meant to add only the ones with like with the charisma. I think if there's going to be a human job, it is only going to be the elite. Uh, and if, if we were to go that route, this would be the quickest way to separate IQ from everybody mm -hmm. because everything going into an IQ test is your, your comprehension, the way you can, you way you can break things down and, and, and organize in your mind. It would be, I mean, blatantly black and white obvious to see who the smart one is. Uh, and who everyone else is. And it would be super e I don't know if this turns into any kind of segregation, but it'd be very easy to pluck the ones out. Uh, and almost uh, what, what, almost groom them for whatever a, a human position would be. Let's say Congress does. We're going to get into politics on the next video. But let's say Congress stays humans. But you only want the smart ones, not, not, not the one learning how to grow I guess hydroponics. I, I was gonna say hydroponics in, in pot in his basement, but that's that's legal and probably pretty intensive. But uh, okay, you don't want the one chewing on crowns, you know, in, in politics. It'd be a lot easier to 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 pick these guys out uh, and, and kind of set them. I think that could actually be all of this just came to my head just now, but I think that actually could be pretty cool. Well, and think about what if the AI teacher, the AI agent, mm -hmm. was also had the ability to understand if someone was a psychopath too and versus someone who actually had some principles grounded in you know bettering something that might yeah. might weed out some of the psychopaths from getting <laughs> into congress <laughs> <laughs> or or um shootings or shooting yeah hey why is this guy killing little animals later he told me that he's <laughs> <a cat laughs> <on a grill. laughs> exactly uh, yeah mental health i mean there could be a whole range of things you could detect pretty quickly on this just from that. Yeah. Uh, and as far as shootings go, I have the answer for school shootings. Figured it out. I've tried tweeting at Elon a million times, like twice, <laughs> I think. But uh, so robots, the humanoid robots, hear me out. This, this solves everything. Everyone's worried about robots and weapons. You don't need to give a robot a single weapon or even teach it defense moves. There's no need for it to learn karate or how to break bones. Okay, there's five robots in a school. There's one in every hallway. Who cares? Uh, you know, they either detect someone walking in with a gun or the first shot gets fired. They all come into that guy. Um, make a cage around him, drop him down so he can't just, just immobilize him. No mm -hmm. break bones. Don't just drop your whole weight on him. And then read, here's the best part those little jokes on the back of Laffy Taffy wrappers. Okay. Cause let's say there's a bug and they get the wrong kid. He just claps a pan down or something and, and for his cooking class or something. <laughs> and, and you know, if people that don't know guns probably think that's a feasible scenario, but if you've ever heard a gun go off, it's very distinct. Uh, but you catch the wrong kid. He's down there just listening. Like imagine that story. Like this robot got on top of me and started reading me stupid jokes. It'd be hilarious. It's the best day he's ever had in school. Yeah. Uh, if it catches the guy that's trying to cause harm, the last thing he wants to hear is a robot laughing and telling jokes the whole time while he waits for the police to get there and hopefully awesome. Uh, <laughs> My now, yeah, there's not a single extra guard in the school. There's no extra weapons. There's no additional harm, only safety. May that be the easiest protocol to program a robot for. Yeah, yeah. Make it happen. 
It's not up to me, man. <laughs> I need Elon to hear that. That could happen literally tomorrow. It'd be it'd be easy because people are going crazy. And and off the subject, I don't get how there's ever not a round two because if I ever find out there's a shooting at one of my kids' school, that's just the beginning. I'm gonna go off my rocker, and there's gonna be a round two. Like this video is not gonna be incriminating at all because there's gonna be a whole <laughs> plume of smoke and a, a lot of fire. Uh, there are plenty of evidence. They won't need a YouTube video. That's for sure. Like I'm, I'm going nuts. So, well, I, I think AI will be able to solve a lot of that, a lot of the problems <laughs> that, that we currently have with stuff like that. Um, I do think so. So, and I, and I do think people, kids will still go to school mm. so that they'll learn social interaction with actual humans. Yeah. When they're not, when they're not in their pod. That's something I do think a teacher would still be useful for. I do too. You, you can have a little robot up there. And I'm, I'm looking at the picture because it's still up on my screen on the platform, just walking around, you know, telling you good job in a Siri voice. Uh, but at least the the teacher understands the human emotion part. That's something robots don't have, which is very good. But in some cases like this, kids are just still developing. I don't think they, they don't have any control over their emotions or even know what they are yet. So I do think, I don't think those teachers go away too soon. You could probably do without a high school. Yeah, I think, yeah, I agree. I think I think in your younger younger ages, teachers will still be very important, but but yeah. they'll get less important the higher they go. Yeah, exactly. When the kid knows not to stick a fork in a toaster, he probably doesn't need a uh, yeah uh, teacher anymore. And and and, and I think uh, the, what the user said, he asked about will there still be colleges or something to that effect. Uh, uh, he said, "I can I can bring it back up, or I can read it." Uh, want to hear your thoughts on the future of education from pre-K through university and beyond? Through university and beyond. I I think right now it is an active scam. Can you imagine starting your doctorates now, going to legal school? A seven-year program starting right now, you're going to be just thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands into college dues and then you know, the Tesla bot's going to come just knocking at your door saying, do you want to buy me? I can do everything you went to school for. And then you could have bought 12 of those robots on what you spent in college. And it's, it's just going to be absolutely, I I think college is now, and I've never said college is, is a scam. I think it has its place. I think they, because there's always going to be comments about this. I do think they charge an outrageous amount that it's absolutely ridiculous. uh, What some colleges charge for and the promise of, you're going to get a good job that went away when everybody started, when college became like a normal thing, mm-hmm. you know, so now you go to college, you're not guaranteed crap. Like I, oh, what I would, they said they were going to find me a job, my college. Uh, it got it, it turned into a lawsuit as well. Cause I said that we'll find you a job, the job. So I went to school for business management and web graphic design, which doesn't show on any of my thumbnails, but they said they would, they would find me a job. They found me a job drawing business cards at Kinko's for $9 an hour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, yeah, nope, not. I'm already making more than that now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so thanks, you know, but but no thanks, don't need it. It actually turned into a lawsuit. They got sued, and uh, that was probably the most money I made off of college because I did get a check in the mail one day. <laughs> oh my god! But uh, so I've never said it's a scam, but I think now, now more than ever, it is because you're not going to get to. I think there's a lot of careers people are chasing right now that they don't even get to finish school before AI already deletes that job. Yeah, I agree. And, and, I, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't classify as a scam. I think they, I think they put too much emphasis on colleges and higher education for careers that didn't require it. Right. Yeah. You know, like, back when I went to school, which was early nineties, mm-hmm. you know, 1890s or you know, if, you know, I can, you want to, you want to be a doctor you want to become, you know, an engineer, you know, mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah. I think higher education is valuable and probably required. Mm-hmm. Um, I think 10 years from now, that is going to change quite a bit. And I think people are going to be getting education just for the sake of education mm-hmm. and not necessarily because they want a career kind of goes back to the, what we said, like you're going to have, people are going to be getting UBS and UBI. Yeah. Uh, and I think that I think school will be more an elective. Will be, well, yeah. In, yeah. I think, well, not elective. I think you'll go for the, you'll have to, you'll have to be a, a functioning human, right? 
So, yeah. that, you know, like, let's get people to be a functioning human. But then let's <laughs> also identify those people who are, like, passionate ge passionate geniuses. And let's foster those things because mm -hmm. they might be able to do something that AI can't do. Like, yeah. Right. So I think that's I think that's where we're headed. I think that's I think that's on the utopia side of things. Yeah. Because I think that could be cool. What's the dystopia side of things? Uh, I think we're going to go through a dystopia type of situation at first, kind of like the pretty much everything with AI. I think the rich mm. are going to adopt it and say, mm -hmm. I mean, if you had all the money in the world, would, would you send your kids to public schools or are you going to send your kids to where they're trained by Newton, Isaac, you know, the, the best of the best? Like you're going to, you would hire tutors to, to teach them everything they ever wanted. I yeah. think you're going to see that first. The rich will adopt it first because they're going to get the absolute best education. Mm -hmm. But again, it's going to it's going to take them nowhere because in ten years there's, there's not going to be really any jobs available for them. Yeah, but that so that's what I do think is coming, and not because I I saw it in a movie. But there's a ton of movies out there, and it's not that far of a stretch. What I think because I do think middle class is going away once robots take over, and we're on UBI. Everyone gets the same check regardless of your your job status. Um, there will be people living by that. There will be people like, ah, oh, it's just extra extra play money because they already set themselves up. And, uh, you know, middle class goes away. And, and not to say Hunger Games, but Hunger Games, there was a – what's the one where the things oh, – the rich people live up in space? Um, with Matt Damon. Oh, yeah. Uh, I keep on call it Ulysses, but that's not, that's not the name. It's, uh... Um, gosh. I know what you're talking uh, about. Um, what other movies are there? There's um, Hunger Games. I'm trying to think of everything that. Uh... Elysium. Yeah. Yeah, Elysium. That, that's what, exactly what it is. Uh, so, again, rich and poor. Poor live on Earth. Rich live in, in space. There, There's no. The whole theme to every one of these is that there's just no more middle. You're either you have it or or you don't. Uh oh, what was a? It was actually right. a good movie with uh with Justin Timberlake, uh, which I never thought I'd say in the same sentence. Remember where they had like the the time oh, on their wrist? Is this, is this where they had the time on their on their wrist? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and the rich they had their own time zone. Everybody else didn't. <clears throat> um, I think that's that's kind of where think, we're think, headed. I I think it could be. I think it's going to be up to people to really fight for that not to happen. I maybe we'll have to go over that it, politics it, video, but <laughs> it, it could it, it could easily spin out of control where the people who have AI and, and they're able to use it for their for their purposes. Yeah. I think ambition is gonna have a lot to do with that. Yeah. And the part that's gonna suck is the generations after. Uh because you don't get to choose your parents. And if your parents this is where I do feel bad for like poor kids because uh, you got the mom out there with nine kids with not enough income to support herself, let alone the baseball team she has. Yeah. Uh, but I think by that time, it's it's already so baked in. There will not be there's not going to be any traveling back and forth between between like, oh, you can come live with the rich. We understand your your parents were just absolutely worthless. And it's not your fault. I think that's just going to be sucks to suck scenario. Yeah. Yeah, I do. And, I do think that the next in the short term, mm -hmm. we are going to see that disparity grow yeah that's why I'm, yeah. I'm that's why i'm yelling so much like like chicken little if, if if you're new on my channel trust me i have i'm like you guys need to get it in gear land on the rich side <laughs> like it, it's just just squeak by it's all you have to do get rid get past this this transition period because one you don't want to be in a uh what was hunger games in where they divide a district you don't want to be in my district because i'm causing problems like my district gets bombed because I'm gonna so, fight every day. <laughs> so off topic for one second, mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll bring it back to education. But with AI uh, advancing gene manipulation, mm -hmm. and where what they say, like in 2030, they expect yeah. us to be able to live forever. Yeah, uh, biological immortality by 2030 was the top AI scientist said that. So biological immortality by 2030. Yeah, which if anybody doesn't get that, no more sicknesses, nothing. We die from murder, car accidents, uh, overdoses. Like 
I, maybe that gets fixed. I don't know. I, I guess if, if you're just unresponsive, you know, I don't know. I doubt they can revive you into a zombie. But yeah, just just stuff like that. Self harms. So uh, you know. that really could enhance that that dystopia thing where the the rich become so some become basically so ultra rich and they never die. They become gods. Yeah, I, yeah. Without bringing religion into it i I get i get what you're saying because yeah they just never die the uh generational wealth doesn't go anywhere doesn't go away yeah they they Uh, just keep getting richer yeah and do they need to keep do they even need to keep having kids or do they just have that money for the rest of time uh they've definitely secured their spot the part that i think is going to be the real separator between dystopia and utopia remember in elysium they had the beds and if you lay down on the beds it would scan your body and cure you of anything cancer mm-hmm. anything like that the whole movie is about them getting there and uh because he's gonna die he needs this bed to heal him he took on too much radiation turns out right. he wasn't the hulk you know didn't turn green just wanted to die like everybody else you know, while one little girl has cancer, she lays in the bed, scans it, deletes it. Like, it's just like, ah, let me get that. I mean, 30 seconds in. Um, I do think if there's ever, this is the part that I worry about with corporate greed and everything. Uh, it's like data on your cell phones. What's really going on? Like, no one's out there just churning up anything to, to create data. It's not something you have to create. It's just a, a toggle switch. Uh, if they try to keep that technology for themselves... I hope there's an absolute uprising before it gets to that complete divide. Uh, but I think that's where we'll come into. We'll probably talk more about that in our, our politics video on on the route that goes. But I think that's going to be the, the the fine line because the rich will like to keep that for themselves uh, until someone asks, "What's the point? Why do you need that for yourselves?" You know, like, are you are you getting cancer every day? Like, you couldn't use something like that on somebody else on the off chance you didn't just pick up cancer that day, you know? So does public education that embraces AI, the way we're talking about it, where you have, you know, you you can study any subject, does that stop that dystopia? So everyone's getting educated. So that, I mean, that that's usually a, people getting educated is usually when you, start to see things getting better for people. Like, you know, you go to a third world, you educate everyone and things will eventually over time get better. Yeah. They've, pro- they've proven that out. So would that happen? Would that happen for, for the rest of the world? If, if they, if we do start to slip in dystopia. Um, ooh, uh, round that up again. I was thinking inner cities for a bit. I was about to go there, which we're going to touch on. Uh, give me that question one more time. So does the, embracement of the ai like like what we're talking about schools where you go into pods or these little divots right. or whatever they, where, where you learn all these crazy all these subjects at your own pace and you actually become really intelligent as a person mm-hmm. yeah that's would that stop that dystopian uh uh outcome um i don't think so you know because think so? first of all how widespread does that become is it every school? Because right now there's inner city schools that just, that uh, they're just, could you please graduate with two plus two knowledge because they just need the numbers of this many kids graduated. Uh, sure. there, there's, there's a huge difference between a, I don't want to call it a well school, but a lack of better term inner city school versus what's the other term. I, I don't want to say better, but more funded. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, an affluent school versus uh, versus a de- I don't know depressed school. Yeah. So, is there some kind of are those pods going to every school uh, around the world, or some kind of funding? Because uh, where I live, uh, Blue Springs has a lot more money than the than Center High School. Uh, you know, so do they get the pods while everyone else is using archaic textbooks? uh and worrying about shootings uh or how long does it take to get everybody those pods uh what's the what's the i would would say bandwidth on that like how far does it reach but then let's say everybody gets it in a dream world everyone's in a pod learning at their own pace whatever they want how what difference does it make if you're smart uh what i just learned everything from ai 
did I just dream some new stuff up that the AI doesn't already know? So the dystopia thing, I don't think comes from a lack of education, maybe mindset uh, and will. Maybe it helps that, you know, uh, it keeps you from being just a POS, you know, just withering away, doing the life cycles until you, you know, forget to take your medicine one day and die. Uh, you know, be, becoming the, the human, you know, just the, a, a decent human being. Um, what, yeah, what are we going to come up with? I think it's gonna be so few and far in between. You might have a, a new, uh, Nikola Tesla that figures out something AI. I don't think it's because AI didn't know it. AI just didn't think to look in that crevice. Sure. Uh, but that's going to be so few and far in between. I don't think education would stop a utopia versus dystopia situation. It's interesting. This whole concept about what happens to school is just fascinating. I mean, the whole, I mean, I mean, you and I, we talk about the AI and just in general, like mm. there's so many branches this thing could go down. Like we, like, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I don't even think it's could go down. I just think it's a matter of time. Yeah. I mean, it's just a matter of when are we going to cross that bridge and who's kicking the can down the road. And at what point is it time to just figure it out? Hmm. I need some more time on this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think, I don't know if there is there college anymore. Do colleges go away? That's a huge corporation to just get rid of. Colleges are like car salesmen. I mean, sorry for the, the car salesmen out there, but they are, they're out to get their money. Uh, that's it. They have a lot of money. They, 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 they control a lot. Um, but What's the difference in me going to Yale or my pot? Because I can learn my own pace. It might just wreck somebody at that as far as if I were to grade it on intelligence. Uh, I, think they, I think they do go away. That's good. I think they, I think they go away. And I back to what you said in the beginning, I'm struggling to see what the people who are just entering college, what they're going to do five years from now when they get out. Same thing everyone else is doing. <laughs> Trying to figure out what job they can get after they just lost their other one. I mean, think think about it. you're 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 going to you're starting as a freshman this year, and you want to become a lawyer. I'd quit. I'd drop out right now. They've they've already shown that ChatGPT can do um, legal, legal, you know, legal like entry level entry level legal services. Yeah. So filing briefs, you know, creating arguments, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's usually how a lawyer cuts their teeth um, to actually become like a, you know, like a trial or a lawyer or whatever. Like they spend a few years, you know, clerking or whatever. Well, that's gone. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a, and, and who's hiring a lawyer? Once there's an AI lawyer, why would I hire anybody else? Oh, I wouldn't. I'd yeah. Be liability. Yeah. And you'd be silly. Uh, that's another and, thing. The worst, yeah. the the worst AI is going to be better than some of the some of the top lawyers. Yeah, that's an uh, and hopefully they don't price us out of this. Whoever's in charge, everybody loves a sub uh, subscription service, you know, business wise. So do they price? Because I guess that's that's a question we probably could have. Uh, I don't know if it's in its own video. Let's just talk about it now. Uh, do they price everyone out of AI? So you have to be the gifted or rich to even get it. Oh, or, or is it like cell phones? Only the rich people had cell phones. And then all of a sudden, you know, kids, have, kids have them now. There's a little bit of both. Well, I looked at that video today that you sent me about the, uh, the was it the rabbit rabbit? Yeah. Not talking about a woman's toy. We are talking about a, <laughs> a uh, right, right, it, right. Who's if you've ever watched Pokemon, it's the Pokedex. Did you ever watch? I doubt you. You were probably already what fifty when Pokemon came out. <laughs> uh, the, the the kid carries around an identical little red thing with the screen. He says, "What is that?" And he points to it, and it reads off what the species is, its height, everything, all that. This thing is called a rabbit. It's got a 360 spinning camera on it, a walkie-talkie button, uh, and another button and a touch screen. And it's basically you walkie-talking with AI, and it re re uh, responds in real time. If Mike and I are speaking a different language, 
I, I could literally talk into it. It would repeat what I said into Mike's native language, and then Mike would talk back, and it would literally just translate for us. Uh, also yeah. in the demo, um, he said, um, hey, uh, you know, clicks and holds, push me, uh, make me, uh, plan plan out a trip for me. Um, and, and with a cool SUV and sat down south somewhere, it pulls up tickets, um, the, the rental cars, has all, all he needs to do is just say approve on each item. Um, and, and it, it says, now give me, some, give me a list of fun things to do. And it went from large language models like chat GPT, just talking back and forth. He called it uh, large action models. So it was everything you would do, like open the app. He said, get me an Uber ride from my place to here. And all it did was behind the scenes was open up Uber, click everything you're about to just did it for you from you just walkie talking your best AI friend. Uh, it was yeah. an, it was an AI assistant. And then, sorry, I got so excited when, when you brought that up, but. Well, I mean, <laughs> the, the, the point was it was 200 bucks. It wasn't that much. It's cheaper than a phone. Yeah. So I, I, back to the point, the, the question was, do we think AI is going to get priced out for the, for the, for the small folks? And I don't think so. Hopefully not. Based on, I mean, that thing was powerful. Yeah, it, it looks like a piece of crap, but like, <laughs> I, great. I want to see how many things I can pass with that thing. Uh, on, on LinkedIn, you can take a bunch of tests and get like certificates of you know fluent in this or that, good at accounting. I'm just gonna ask that every question it gives me from every quiz, and just see how awesome I am at every job, and just see if anyone wants to hire me. <laughs> I'm going to apply at jobs that pay 500 grand a year and I'm going to see if I can get an interview. <laughs> you can't tell me if I, I, you know what? I, this is all kind of joking. I'm actually, I'm this close to being serious. Uh, use yeah, AI yeah, yeah. every test, call them up. Like, Hey, you want me to work for you or not? You know, but you saw hey, the, hey, you hey. saw what I'm capable of. You've got your <laughs> PMP. You've got, I mean, you got it all. Yeah. And then, I'm, and when I get there, I'm like, hey, I got my, you guys allow cell phones? No, that's cool. Uh, can I have this on the job? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you want me to get the job done, I'll bring that into the interview. But go ahead and ask me a question. And, oh, I'm going to ask ChatGPT some interview questions. What would I need? If I even just had that, all I would need to know is some vocabulary. I would need to know the l English language, I guess just any language. Uh, and, and what could I not answer? What is some college kid going to come up and tell me that I couldn't just figure out? You know, like I would need to know what to ask. But if you ask me a question, all I would do is just ask that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, bring it yeah. back to school. Like uh, there, there's so many arguments just for our phone right now of why do I need to learn this? You know, like why do I need to dissect a fish or a turtle? If I want to know where the turtle's liver is at, I could just look it up on my phone right now. Yeah. But they still make you do that in biology. I guess why? How much of that goes away? When do they finally cave in and say, all right, you probably are going to have a calculator with you the rest of your life? I think they already have. But why are we still teaching math classes? I think you still need to understand. You still have to have the concept of math. You still need to understand the concept of algebra, right? Right? Just so you can. I mean, it's, it's problem solving. I think that's what we're good at. Yeah. What if I want to go to school for theater? I think I think I think the AI agent could teach you theater. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, I don't need to be I don't need to know anything about algebra. If I'm gonna wear green tights and be Robin Hood for the day for two hours. Yeah, I'm not out there worrying about the Earth's curvature on my arrow shot. So this yeah, this gets into the whole philosophical stuff, right? If there are no jobs that really meaning meaningful jobs anymore, yeah. Do people actually need to learn? I think, so here, I, think they will, I think the curriculum will change slightly. Yeah. Here's one thing that's, it, it's kind of a thought process. And I don't know where it's going to go. Um, but I thought about this today. It's already been disproven. But you know how some people think uh, the past civilizations were so advanced uh, that we ended up killing ourselves off. And then we kind of had to start over again. Mm -hmm. I think the only reason we need to learn is to stop something like that. Let's let's pretend the Mayans were, were on course. We're just the next Mayans. We come up sure. with some new technology. Next thing you know, uh, AI offs us and leaves the planet. Uh, you know, 1% survives. There, there's one random couple. They're, you know, it's Adam and Eve. You know, the next Adam and Eve, basically. Um, 
they would be about as intelligent as anybody from the movie Idiocracy, uh, because they've never never learned anything. We would have to read. They'd have to go through the caveman phase. They'd have to go through everything all over again. Yeah, yeah. And I know a lot of people believe that's already what happened, but we we never pulled up an old cell phone out of the dirt. There's or anything metal. There's a reason we pulled up old pottery and not anything else. But I think that's that's about the only use case I think for for really learning. If if we had a blackout right now and technology left, people know how to operate a computer, but they don't know how to build a computer. They don't know how to build a processor. They don't know how to mine anything. We would be yeah. F beyond our wildest. We would be back to trading fur skin for rice. Like it would be we would be in trouble. And we I think be. it further puts us in that position, but it's kind of the point of no looking back. Uh, at this point, man, it's a tough question. I don't know. <laughs> I, or, I, I, yeah. I think um, I don't know if I don't know if those types of skills would be part of the curriculum. You know, a skin or a t- tanning a skin. Like I don't think that'd be part of it, <laughs> unless you were like super super interested in it. And I, I would bet most people are not at this point. Yeah, that you could probably just go. I don't think that's going to be in a school curriculum, but it'd be. No. That's where I do think uh, losing schools might even create jobs. If, if just for that, like, hey, I want to learn how to butcher something, I could go learn about it in my dome, or I do have maybe a human component, or I guess a in theory a, a human or a humanoid robot could teach me. Um, but yeah, I, I think what ends up happening. I mean, I guess that gets so, to. Well, all I'm going, I don't know, all jobs, like there will be certain jobs. I, I think education. Sorry, I got some lag. Right now, oh, it's fine. I, I think right now, education is so condensed because you have pre K to 12th grade and then college. I think now it gets spread out. You go from like pre K to probably eighth grade ish, uh, about the time you get your driver's permit. We yeah, had my freshman year. You're uh, becoming an adult. You've gone through puberty. Most, hopefully, most of you guys have. Um, you know, you're you're kind of at that adult phase. I think at that point, you get to choose your own your own path instead of yeah. going to going to high school and learning every English, biology, everything. You can just like I've I've got the basics now. I kind of want to pursue this. I might make a left turn and pursue something later. My little dome can can tell me about that. Um, but yeah, so colleges go away. I think it just almost like an exploded view instead of that college being so condensed, just disperses out into a bunch of tiny little buildings, I guess. Places so that's actually a, a complaint I had about college when I went to school is that, you know, my I, I chose biomed engineering, just mm-hmm. an engineering because that's what I thought I was good in math and science. Mm-hmm. And I thought, OK, I'll become an engineer, which I absolutely hated. I think one of the good things about this is that people will be able will be able to explore all kinds of subjects and figure out what they actually like before mm-hmm. learning. You know, like college, you pick a degree and you start, you go for four years, and whether you like it or not, that's what you end up with. Yeah, you're committed. <laughs> yeah, you're committed, right? Mm-hmm. I think I think now you'll be able to say, okay, what do I like? Because pe- people like all kinds of stuff, and we'll and we'll still have a range of people doing all. A whole range of things what people do but they'll be able to explore a lot more and then focus on those like what you're saying rather than just being okay i'm gonna do this because that's what i'm my test says i should do yeah yeah i, I agree i think it, i think that part as far as the school goes is going to be awesome yeah um uh, man oh, so we surely we covered everything I Probably think not. as much as, <laughs> as much as we can without any. Uh, I guess uh, let's get some feedback from everyone. What's some feedback that we want? I guess I want some some open thoughts. What's something we probably almost touched but maybe didn't? I want to hear someone else's ideas. Let's. I guess we can do a part two to this because this is almost at just the the limits of someone's imagination at at sure. this point. Yeah. Um, cause there's 9 million ways it could go. It could go nowhere at all. We just keep it because everybody is, you know, people don't like change. They're just content with how they have it. And then the AI just stays in the, uh, the adult world. 
I don't I don't see that happening, but I mean, and hopefully it doesn't because one we don't pay teachers enough. I think if we actually paid teachers enough, you know, um, like, like in China they, they treat their teachers like 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 we treat doctors. They they make a great salary and, and they should because like you know like why is it such a a hard deal again to talk about some uh, inner city ver- versus not? Why is it so hard to find teachers in there? You know. Uh, Granted, I, I get the situation uh, why one might not want to work there, but uh, so much starts with education in the beginning that I hope AI spreads and takes over. I hope it just flips this table over uh, and, and changes everything. I think that would be for the best. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I think I think the the value we can get out of this far outweighs the disruption that's going to cause in the, in the short term. Yeah, I think so too. Um, so what do we need? We need everyone's, what are some comments we want for the next one? Cause I kind of like just daisy chaining it off, off these comments. Cause there's just so much to, to cover when it comes to this. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I want to hear everyone's thoughts. I want to hear everyone's opinions on the, let's go preteen. I don't think it's gonna be pre-K anymore. It's going to be preteen. And then I think teenage up. I think colleges go away and it's just going to be almost two subjects. Preteen, you're still a kid. You're coming into adult, start finding your your path. And with your own free will, I think your path becomes a lot easier to find, kind of like what, what you touched on. You know, it's not like, hey, go try this for four years and see if you spend 120 grand and you like it uh, versus let me just start this path. That kind of sucks. Let me just, maybe you're just a jack of all trades. You just learn a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. You know, still pulls the same power. Out of the wall outlet, you know, like your AI is still, still cost this thing. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's uh, let, let's wrap it up. What what question? What what comments do you want to read? What what questions do you have for anybody? You know, I'd like I'd like to see what what they think if 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 our direction is completely off, or if they think that we're on on some sort of if we if we're right on course. That's mm-hmm. kind of what I'm thinking. That's the kind of question. That I want to see questions around that or comments. Not my questions. I want to see comments about your way off. Here's what's going to happen because I want to hear those, those different views because I like, True. I don't know where it's coming. I don't know where, I don't know where it's going. This is just our thoughts. This is our opinions. Yeah. No one, no, no one really knows. So I, I want to hear those things. I, I agree. I do like the opposing side. Cause maybe it's something I never even thought of or like, Oh, we could go that way. Cause like in the, in the beginning, not to start off a whole tangent, it was UBI versus UBS. Until one person's like, I think it's going to be both. I was like, Oh crap! I never even thought about that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. So yeah, there, there's no wrong answer, but I do, I do want to see some some keyboards working. I want to see some comments on this one. Agreed. Uh, and then share my clip with Elon. I got the school shooting thing solved. Okay, because that tell me there's a better way right now. That you can't. <laughs> it's the best way. <laughs> all right i'm gonna wrap it up here guys make sure you subscribed and uh there's probably gonna be more ai videos up front but hopefully we get down to a schedule once a week twice a week uh for now we might just sit down at the desk uh, and just go for it until youtube realizes i'm doing ai stuff as well uh i don't know if there is a set schedule yet so we might just get one on a wednesday it might be every saturday uh so make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you guys all in the next one have a good one